Let's write the structural formula for hexane. And for hexane, we can actually write the structural formula for three different isomers, one hexane, two hexane, and three hexane. So we'll look at each one of those. For all of these, the chemical formula is C6H10, but we really need the structural formula just to know how these atoms are arranged. So we'll start with hexane, this Y-N-E at the end. That tells us we have an alkyne and we're gonna have a triple bond. The hex, hex tells us the number of atoms. Our longest chain is gonna have six carbons. So we have six carbons with a triple bond, that's hexane. So here we have a six carbon chain. This is just hexane because we have all single bonds. These lines here, they go to hydrogens. So we need to put our triple bond between carbons. If we call this one hexane, the triple bond will go right here. Let's number the carbon atoms. So we'll put a triple bond right here. So each carbon atom can only have four bonds. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get rid of these hydrogens here. And this carbon here has one, two, three, four, five, six. Get rid of these. So now it just has four. This is the structure for one hexane. We could also put the triple bond here on the second carbon like this. So this carbon still has four bonds. This one has six. So why don't we just move these over here? That'll give this carbon four bonds. This is the structure for two hexane. Likewise, we could move the triple bond to the third carbon. And let's move these over here. So each carbon has four, three hexane. And we really can't move it over any further. If we move it here, then we would want to renumber starting from one here. And that would just give us two hexane. So there really are only three isomers here, one, two, and three hexane. That's it. That's the structural formulas for hexane, one, two, and three hexane. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.